Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Today we're talking about uniforms and what we're looking at here is uh, the new U.S. Army uh, improved hot weather combat uniform um, and this is a uh, top. I have a complete set um, off camera. I'll bring that up in a second to show you uh, some differences about a, a little feature on here. I've got an older set that I had. I've been using it all summer on and off and I, for, for airsoft, not for work because I don't wear this, uh, but I dig this. So I've been seeing this being worn by a lot of the Joes on post and been picking their brains and a lot of the guys seem to like it and it looks really good. Uh, one thing I will say, it fades really, really bad um, over time. So that is something to note and to be aware of. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice is there are no pockets on the front of this thing anywhere. Uh, you still have loop for uh, name field, rank, or rank and uh, branch, but there's no no pockets on the front. Uh, that's to make it more comfortable to be worn with um, armor or uh, LB, LBVs, LBEs, chest rigs, etc. And also to cut down on material on the front just to make it more comfortable in hot weather. And hence the improved hot weather uniform. Things uh, that they kind of did differently than the current issued OCP uniform, which I have uh, right here also, is the pockets on the sleeves. So this is a standard OCP top. And as you can see, uh, the sleeve pocket design changed from the ACUs uh, to this ACU iteration. And it's a large field with like a zipper side entry pocket. You know, and there's no top entry. Well, on the hot weather uniform, they brought that back. So uh, they decided not to go with that large, giant loop field with a zipper entry, and they've got the standard old school, just like raid mod ACU style uh, pocket on the sleeve. But instead of Velcro, like uh, ACUs or UCPs, whichever, uh, it is just buttons. It's two buttons, like old BDUs. That's it. Some straight strings here. Decent loop field for uh, patches, unit patches, whatever patches. Uh, since this would be for airsofting, um, just whatever morale patch or bullshit I want to put on there. And then you've got a field for IFF or flags right here on the lid. And then here you have your IR tab that's hidden under this binding tape and then secured away. Uh, let's talk about the sleeves since we're here. Like the traditional tops, you have uh, two pin pockets. Um, I find those to be unnecessary. And honestly, for this uniform, since they're going for hot weather, and I, I, I would have just not even added these because no one really uses them, in my opinion. Especially in the field, they don't. Um, they're just kind of pointless. I would have just stripped that off. But hey, whatever. They do have them. In case you do use them and like them, they're there. Elbows. The elbows are reinforced with this large patch here. Let me get this guy opened up differently. So you've got this material here, this reinforcement. I'm not sure if this is like twill per se. I'm not sure what this is, uh, but it is not rip stop. And this reinforcement, which is cool on your elbow, uh, this will hold color. This fades way, way slower the rest of the uniform and it is kind of color fast for the most part so it'll maintain its multi-cam coloration and stay very bright and vibrant uh way after you wash this a whole lot um i've got it like i said a use set here not as faded as some of the sets i've seen on post um and i'll show you in a second but it is still less vibrant than this set to be in a brand new set and i'll show you what i'm talking about uh the collar it's kind of rounded off a little smaller than most collars i think it's yeah, so it appears to be even a little smaller than the standard uh, cup collar, just to cut down on size and weight. And then the back, there is no gussets or anything. It's just a large open back. Again, to cut down on material and weight. Uh, the rift stop is very thin and very breathable. And that's something I really like about this. Um, the cuff on the sleeve, so you button it inverse, like inward, 
and it's a three points here so you've got three areas to go, button it down so you got them where it starts then down to kind of tighten your cuff down um, I don't like tightening my cuffs down at all even though technically you're supposed to it's not something I like to do so let's get this new top out of the way I'm gonna bring up uh, the older set so like I said this is a used older older top got some time on it it's faded a little bit it's not as faded as it could be but you can see some slight differences between the new material here on the left and it on the right and what I'm talking about is you can also tell the elbow reinforcement how it is a little brighter on this sleeve uh, than the surrounding material because this is faded whereas this really hasn't uh, otherwise I mean it's the exact same top I just wanted to show you that uh, difference and you can see it a little more on the trousers which we're about to talk about so the trousers this is the uh, not a new set this is an older set We'll talk about the top and we'll work our way down. So the trousers have large uh, reinforced uh, belt loops. Uh, you got two right on the front and then you got two on the side and the three in the rear. Uh, there is no um, adjustment on the trousers at all as far as like making them a little smaller or um, any elastic in the side or anything to give a little more spacing. So the trousers are the size they are. So if you're a large reg, they are sized out 29 and a half to uh, uh, inseam 32 and a half, waist 35 uh, to 39. If you are lower than uh, 35, these aren't going to fit you. If you're over a 39, these are going to be too tight. There's no uh, way to shrink them down a little lower or um, make them or give you a little extra expansion. Nothing like that. So you have to wear a belt with these. So the older BDUs have the little toggles on the side where if you didn't wear a belt, you could just kind of pull the toggles in and you could like, if, if you're a little smaller on the, in the scale, you could kind of tighten them down on you a little more. Or like the uh, MCCUs and Marpats have some elastic, and the uh, NWUs have elastic on the side to kind of help you if you're within that range to kind of bring them in on you. Uh, these don't do that. Again, that was a weight saving major uh, for the fact that they're made for like hot weather. Fly is a button fly. Also really awesome. And then going up, we've got, oh, you got your two standard slash pockets here. Uh, going up, we've got cargo pocket, standard BDU buttons, nothing too crazy. Uh, it's not the sideways crazy large oh, ACU pocket from the back in the day. It's more like a standard BDU pocket. Still plenty large to hold whatever you need to. Got a large gusset in the center to kind of expand. And then we've got the knees. So these are the reinforcements in the knees. Same as the uh, shoulders or shoulders, the elbows on the top and same material. And as you can see, it's still holding the color a little better than the surrounding material that's faded just a little bit. When you see guys on post, sometimes you'll see them with this uh, ripstop and it's faded like a ton. It's starting to head towards like a grayish color almost because it's faded so bad. But these knee points are like still vibrantly multicam. And it's interesting how much these reinforced areas don't fade comparatively to the ripstop. Uh, you have your calf pocket. It's a single button. And there's an extra button there in case you need one hidden under the calf pocket. I don't really use my calf pockets, but I know a lot of guys that do. So to each their own. And then at the bottom, you have your standard little ties uh, for the ankles. I normally pull these out, cut them out, and replace them with shot cord. I just haven't got around to it with this pair. And I'll eventually I'll end up doing that. So on the seat, on the rear, we've got two back pockets that are finished off with uh, standard buttons. As you can see here, there and there. And then we've got a reinforced seat of the same material as the knees and the elbows on the top. Uh, this seat, just like the others, like I said, uh, it won't fade, but everything else around it will. So it's kind of interesting. Overall, I think these are pretty cool. Uh, they are definitely uh, considerably lighter than your standard uh, OCPs. And they do the job as far as being lightweight and um, breathable. And they are definitely uh, more comfortable in hot weather. 
I can't speak for how they compare to something like a, a Patagonia jungle uniform or the beyond uh, temperate uniforms because I don't have any experience of those yet. But I think it is really cool that Big Army has realized that they need something for uh, the standard troops in those regions and for those mission sets. And I think it's kind of cool that they actually release this uh, uniform and they allow it for wear. Uh, down where I'm at in uh, te Texas, uh, it gets really hot. And it was nice to see that the guys are allowed to wear these all summer. Uh, shit, I see guys still wearing them well into the winter because it's still pretty warm here. And uh, they still wear this uniform. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you got something out of this uh, video and review. If you were curious about the improved hot weather combat uniform, I hope you got something from this. Uh, these are cheaper than the proper sets that you see online. Um, if you can get your hands on a GI set somehow... Um, through standard channels, uh, the tops are about 40 bucks, pants are about 53 bucks, where the proper sets are about 60, 60 bucks and 70 bucks. The um, online, these are running closer to uh, uniform shop pricing, but still kind of high. And most Army Navy stores locally are still charging a ridiculous amount of money for these, which I don't understand why. Because they're now uh, readily available. I know I, I understood in the beginning because they were harder to come by, but now they're not. But they still want to charge like 60, 70 bucks uh, per piece. So whatever. I don't know if I would consider these worth over $120 for a set. But, you know, 90 bucks for a set? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, there it is what it is, but I would think I, I would be more than willing to spend the 90 versus like 120 or, or more. So if you can get them for less than uh, PX pricing or right about PX pricing, I would say go for it. Uh, if you can't, I would say probably don't waste your money. Uh, it's, it's not worth it. That's just my opinion. Uh, overall, though, I do think they are pretty cool and uh, they are definitely uh, a great item for uh, BB Wars and the like for the summer. Again, like I said, I hope you guys got something about this review and kind of a long one, but I was going over the differences and the uniforms. As always, thanks to all my old school subs who have been around and still support me. You guys are great. And any of my new subs, I hope uh, this was useful content for you and you liked it. Until next time, get out there, LARP hard, and hopefully I'll see some of you on the airsoft field. Take care.